Greetings everyone, I'm Prince B, and today we're talking about Animal Crossing and Amiibo. For those who don't know, the upcoming game Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival will feature an Animal Crossing series of Amiibo that will be compatible with it. The line will feature 8 characters from the series, but with so many important NPCs, it got me thinking. What other Animal Crossing characters deserve the Amiibo treatment? And so I thought I'd do a list. More specifically, the top 8 Animal Crossing characters that need Amiibo. As for why 8 instead of the standard 10 that normally appear in lists like these, I decided that since the first wave of Animal Crossing characters will have 8 released in it, it makes sense to group them by 8s. This won't count characters like Sable and Label, who should have already had one due to a related character getting in. Further, just about every non-generic NPC was at least considered, even the most obscure ones like Lloyd the Gyroid and Serena from Animal Crossing City Folk. I'm also assuming that these could have uses beyond Amiibo Festival, so even if a character couldn't work in that game, it doesn't disqualify them from this list, nor does having an Amiibo card discount the character, since most Animal Crossing characters are getting Amiibo cards. Now with all that said, let's get started. Number 8. Starting off our list is Crazy Red, who notoriously runs shady businesses. In the GameCube version, it's actually called the Black Market. It's always been implied that he has a rivalry of sorts with Tom Nook, and I think it'd be interesting to give him an amiibo because of that. Everyone who's played Animal Crossing remembers all the times he's cheated them with forged artworks. On second thought, maybe he wouldn't sell well because of that. Too many people would feel compelled to destroy them out of spite but that's why he's only number 8 on this list. Number 7. You like monkeys, right? Who doesn't like monkeys? Everyone likes monkeys, right? Well, Porter's a monkey. He's also the guy to go to if you want to travel between towns in the GameCube version and New Leaf. Connectivity was always a fun part of the core Animal Crossing series, so why not show some love to the monkey who makes it happen? Number 6. So I mentioned that Porter handled travel in the oldest and newest installment of the game, but what about the two in between? Well, that was handled by Copper and Booker, the police dogs. In those games, they also served as gatekeepers, in addition to their normal duties of telling you the going-ons in town and keeping track of lost goods. Loyal to a fault, these dogs deserve to be made amiibo just for all their hard work. If I have to choose one, I'd prefer Copper, but either one would be really great. Number 5. One of the biggest draws to Animal Crossing is its vast level of customization, which I've stated many times is something I love. Not only your house, but your character is customizable via clothing, and yes, even your hair color and style. The character that makes that level of customization possible is the lovely Harriet, owner of the Shampoodle Salon. Harriet debuted in Wild World, where you could play a game of 20 questions and get a new hairstyle. No surprise, stylists love to chat up their clients, but she wouldn't do too much chatting as an amiibo sitting on my shelf, now would she? Number 4. Kappen has always been an interesting character, obviously based on a kappa, a mythical Japanese water imp. Outside of Japan, he's usually just referred to as a turtle. Regardless, he's always got a song in his heart, and isn't afraid to share it with you, no matter how much you may wish he'd keep it to himself. Among the most well-known characters, I'm not sure how this guy was skipped over to begin with. Number 3. The museum is probably the most hit or miss location in the Animal Crossing franchise. People either neglect filling it entirely, or devote excessive amounts of time in an attempt to fill its displays. Its devoted curator, Blathers, happens to be one of my favorite characters, lovable dork that he is. Knowledgeable as is the stereotype for owls, Blathers is by far one of my personal most wanted amiibo. Number 2. Although you'd think just losing your progress would be punishment enough for quitting the game without saving, the game designers didn't think that was enough. Turn on the game after resetting to be greeted, or rather yelled at, by Rossetti. Rossetti is one of the most divisive characters in Animal Crossing. To some, he's an entertaining character who can be fun to mess with on occasion, and to others, well, he can be legitimately terrifying. I happen to love the guy. He was even included in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. As one of the most easily recognizable characters, I really would love to see him get an amiibo. Number 1. Finally, at number 1 we have the original Mayor Tortimer. 
The kind mayor from the previous games retired to a slow and steady island life in New Leaf. While I personally prefer his mayorly look from previous installments, I'd be totally okay with his New Leaf design too. I happen to love Tortimer, whose appearance most always heralded some sort of town event, and by extension, cool free gifts. The fact that one of the oldest, pun intended, and most iconic characters didn't get an amiibo is a crime I hope will one day be rectified. Lastly, as a final bonus, the female villager totally needs an amiibo, whether it's for an Animal Crossing series or a line of Smash series alternate costumes. She is definitely one who deserves one just out of principle. She's the main player character, just like the male villager, and she totally needs an amiibo. So that's my top 8 characters, and a bonus, from Animal Crossing who deserve amiibo. Let me know your thoughts on this list, and tell me what Animal Crossing characters you think should receive the amiibo treatment. Obviously, I couldn't fit everyone on this list as Animal Crossing is a massive series, and even without counting generic villagers, there are a lot of characters to choose from. Be sure to check out some of my other videos, and subscribe if you haven't already. This is Prince Beat, signing out.